There are strong personal ties between the home and synagogue, between yeshivas and Orthodox community centers, between work and religion among Orthodox Jews. Brooklyn District Attorney Charles Hines referred to these ties and what he calls the insular nature of the Orthodox community as reasons for establishing a special outreach effort for sex abuse victims in that community. Project Kol Tzedek, which means voice of justice in Hebrew, will link victims to culturally sensitive social workers and district attorney staff to break the wall of silence community leaders say their members suffer from when abused. In sex abuse involving victims of, or, you know, ch ch of child victims of sex abuse, it is particularly a problem because of their concern of how they would be viewed within the community if they came forward. David Mandel of Ohel Children's Home and Family Services says his organization has worked for decades with abuse victims who are orthodox. He agrees what keeps them from seeking help within the community is fear. That they would not be believed, that they would not be supported, that they would be blamed. Could it affect job prospects, marriage prospects? Uh, it could have, the answer is yes, it could, it could. Creation of Project Kol Tzedek brought praise from Assemblyman Dove Heikind, who raised the issue months ago on a radio program, calling sexual abuse a growing problem within the community. He even compiled a list of alleged victims who came forward with accusations. District Attorney Hines says Heikin handed some of that information over, and now Hines says his office is working on 19 cases in Brooklyn involving even more children. He said Kol Tzedek will be sympathetic to the needs of abuse victims. No victim will be forced to go forward but rather would be permitted to proceed at her or, own, or his own pace. Project Kol Sadek will even offer to send a social worker to meet an alleged victim in a place where he or she feels comfortable talking. The number to call is 718-250-3000. In downtown Brooklyn, Vivian Lee, New York One.